so long I don't know when If I can go back in time, you know I'd do it all again I grew up breathing diesel, riding steel and chrome I worked damn hard to get where I'm at, and I did it on my own Cause I'm a wheel burner Hey, go figure, we're gonna start a video as soon as you hit the play button Somebody starts backing up. It's only a short truck, dude. Come on, get it in there. I think he found it. All right, so I had a question from Grand Wizard. He sent uh, he sent sent us a message. I actually put it up on, on, on one of the videos. And his, his question was, he wants more information regarding tail swing and how to um, avoid damaging vehicles when, uh, when making a right-hand turn. Well, here you go, Wiz. I'm gonna show you right here. Um, obviously, I can't do it because my vehicle's not moving, but my trailer tires, tandems, bogies, whatever you wanna call them, are as far forward as they can go. The benefit of this is the fact that I don't need as much room to spin myself around. And you'll see why, I'll show you here why I've got my tires, my, my axles this, this far forward. When that guy there is done, that's the door I gotta go into, okay? Now I can blindside into that door if I want to, but there is enough room here that I can spin around. If I move my trailer tires, all the way to the front. And so that's what I've done. It takes about five seconds to do. Um, so my, my wheels are forward. When he pulls out, I'm just gonna back it straight up and I should be able to just easily spin it around and boop, back it right in the door. Now that's the benefit. Now the, the downfall to that is say for example, we were in traffic and I am making a right-hand turn. So if I'm making a right-hand turn, this ass end right here of the trailer is going to is going to now swing out with your wheels all the way up there. Well, Wiz, the, the, the only answer, I, the only solution I have for you is, um, unfortunately, you do not, you just need to be more careful when you're when you're driving. Um, I myself, when I know I'm going into congested large cities, um, especially into downtown cores. I move my I move my trailer wheels back to the 41 foot mark, right? Most trailers have the mark. There's uh, there's the one here on on our trailer, right? So I will move my axle back to that that spot, and that's that's pretty much like so the trailer is balanced, centered out, and it will reduce your tail swing. Um, if you move them even farther back, you'll have no tail swing. But then you've got to compensate with that where you got to, you're making a right hand turn. You would have to swing all the way out to the left, probably right into incoming, oncoming traffic and make your left hand turn, or sorry, make your right hand turn to do it. So you could, so that you could drag the wheels if they were back here, if you could drag, so you could drag your wheels around that corner. I very rarely have my wheels back here unless I'm going into a dock and they require me to. Usually I have my wheels set at the, at the 41 foot mark or forward. I very rarely go beyond that. Um, right now I've got them up there because of tail swing. And you know what? I have a light load. I've, I've, I've got only got, I don't know, 17,000, 16,000 pounds on here. So it doesn't matter. I could have those wheels on the roof. It would make no goddamn difference for weight. So there you go. Um, tail swing. There's really not a lot you can do about it. If you're going to put your wheels up front, you're going to get tail swing. If you go, if you want to avoid the tail swing when you get into the cities, bring your wheels back to the 41 foot mark or even a little farther back if you need to. But just remember, for every bit you come back, every for every every couple of inches or every couple of holes that you come back and you you lose that tail swing, you need to compensate that with your tractor. And you need when you swing the right hand turn, you need to swing out a little farther wide to the left before you make the right hand turn. Hope that helps you, brother. There you go. Have a great day, man. Talk to you guys later.